next up, I've got Diego. Diego Saez Gil is the founder and CEO of Pachama, a technology company that uses AI and satellite data to verify and monitor carbon sequestration by forests in order to drive more funding to the conversation um, and restoration. Prior to Pachama, he co-founded Blue Smart, which was acquired by Travel Pro, and We Hostels, which was acquired by Student Universe. Diego was awarded the MIT's 35 Under 35 Award and was selected as a high impact entrepreneur by Endeavor. Diego, thanks so much for joining us today. Um, and I'll let you take it from here. Thank you so much, Avi. I am happy to introduce you guys to Pachama. Uh, as Avi said, our mission is to restore nature to solve climate change. And what we're building is a digital platform that helps connect companies that are seeking to achieve net zero or compensate their carbon footprint with projects that are doing reforestation and forest conservation around the world. And we use satellite data and computer vision, machine learning algorithms to measure and monitor the carbon impact of these projects, uh, ensuring transparency, accountability, and trust. So in order to do that, we developed a platform that ingests satellite data from a lot of different sources, uh, including NASA's Landsat, uh, the European Space Agency Sentinel data, LiDAR data collected by airplanes and by drones around the world. And then of course, uh, ground truth collected by foresters that go and measure every single tree. And, and then we train deep learning algorithms to uh, predict carbon stocks um, deforestation risk, uh, growth potential of reforestation areas, and so forth. And then that data is used to validate and monitor uh, the, the carbon and climate impact of these projects. I wanted to give you an example. This is a project area in Brazil in the Amazon rainforest. And this is what the human eye can see when you uh, look at the satellite data. But with the algorithms that we developed, we are able to see the recent deforestation, which is essential to determine what is the baseline of uh, the potential additionality of a conservation project. You can see the roads, which is one of the main drivers of deforestation in places like the Amazon rainforest. When you open a road, uh, it's, it becomes easier to log and it becomes easier for um, economic activities to happen around those roads so that is a big driver and we can only detect these roads with uh, computer vision algorithms uh, at a big scale we can also uh, observe slope and elevation thanks to computer vision and this is also key because uh, of course uh, you know high areas are more difficult to deforest than plain areas uh, rivers is also something that we can detect Closeness to rivers is also a driver of deforestation. We can also observe vegetation density. Vegetation density is a key marker of carbon uh, concentration and biodiversity, which is another key aspect. So overall, uh, I think that the field of conservation and climate will have a big uh, progress thanks to a computer vision. Of course, one of the challenges here is access to training data. Uh, almost every country around the world has a national forest inventory where they send people to the field to measure trees. And through allometric equations, you can determine the carbon content of those field plots that were collected. And that is very valid uh, data to train algorithms. And we need governments, universities, and other institutions to open up those data sets, which is going to be key uh, for us and for other players on the field to uh, continue training algorithms. But overall, I, uh, I just wanted to share this example. There are many other things that can happen in computer vision uh, in uh, the, the field of conservation. And I invite you to check out our website, pachama.com. You will see some of the projects that we are uh, helping uh, that are conserving and restoring nature around the world. And that is uh, my overview. Thank you so much.